pearls and gems welcome to our channel i'm so excited you guys are joining me for yet another video if you're new to my channel welcome i am madam teray of the pink pearls glam parlor and we are so excited that you're joining us in this video now in this vlogtober series we're going to be having a series within a series and in this series we're going to be talking about all of the skincare products well not all but a majority of the products that i am taking into the fall and winter seasons for my skincare, which are the face moisturizers, face washes, the serums, the, the toners, essences, body oils. And if you enjoy videos like these, please look out for two more videos to follow this one, talking about those and give you guys suggestions again for this fall and winter season. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and just jump right in. Okay, Jules. So the first thing I want to talk about are two products that I know I have mentioned on my channel several, several times. You guys know I've talked to you about Zilla and you guys know I have mentioned this cream that I did pick up for TJ Maxx. So what I like to do with this cream, which I do have a full video on this so you guys can go ahead and check in the description box below to see the video on this that I go into intricate detail and a product review on what I use this product for, which is basically going in above my eye with it because I do wear eyeshadows, but I don't want to rub this part of my eye raw by constantly rubbing in eyeshadows even if you use a primer or a concealer to base your eye. You can still rub a lot through a lot of primers and products and still get to your eye. So you wanna make sure you're moisturizing this eyelid area here as well. And then I do have other videos and I'll leave that link below which talk about products that you can actually utilize to cleanse out your eyes. And I mentioned in it a haul and I also did mention it in a previous video which has a eye on it. It's the only video that I have on my channel that has an eye on it. So check it out. So that is what I like to use this from. And again, this is from Zila and it is an eye treatment. Along with this eye treatment, I do like to go in with this, what is this? The Lay on line. This is the Manuka Honey Age Defying Eye Cream with Kiwi Seed Fruit and Vitamin E, and it's made in New Zealand and it soothes and it hydrates. So whenever I go in with this, because I like to use the thinnest product first, I like to go in with this one first, and then I like to go in with this cream, which looks just like so afterwards. And I just go in and around my eye area. Sometimes I bring it up to my brows, but usually not in and above it because I know I'm gonna go on with my other eye treatment. So that is how that looks. It's just a thick consistency. Again, you guys did, if you've been watching me for a while, you know I mentioned this. So I just wanted to just go into intricate detail with that with those who may be new to my channel. So love to use these main two products around my eye area. I really don't use anything else in that area but those two products right there. With that, we're gonna go in with, gonna talk about toners. I know I wanted to mention toners, but I do have videos that also mentions toners as well, but I wanted to go ahead and go in and mention these as well. The first one is the Ulta Beauty Aqua Hydrating Mist, and this is has this one has hyaluronic acid and aloe. This one is a multi-purpose facing mist, so you can tone and balance skin, prep before masking, set makeup throughout the day, refreshes and cools while you're on the go. So this is one of those multifunctional products that you can use for just about anything. So after you've done cleansing your face and after you've either done a mask, if you decide to do one after, depending on what type of mask it is, you might want to go on with a toner to just make sure you get all that residue and gunk out of your pores before you go on to your essence. So the next toner that I want to talk about is the coconut by uh well the coconut capari coconut rose toner and this one is sulfate free and i did purchase this one from ulta a while back it is almost gone i have like a corner left so this one you guys may be seeing in a empties yeah in an empties in the future and it was just a small size um i actually think ulta gave this to me i think this was either a part of a uh, Ulta sponsored video if I'm not for sure so I'm, I'm I may have to correct myself so yeah but anyway this is the Kapari with coconut oil it's a misting toner spray definitely love this product and I was so excited to try that out the last toner that I want to mention is the Olek Henderson uh, toner and I mostly use this nowadays for my neck to lighten it up and it, I think it did an awesome job. I don't know if you guys are how long a lot of you guys have been watching me, but 
I had a really, really um, start getting a dark neck and I did not like that, I did not find it attractive. So I immediately went into action of making sure that everything matches and I use this. And I also, to my surprise, found that it does work really, really good under the arm as well. So once you're done shaving and clean, well first cleansing and moisturizing under there and then shaving, going in with a toner afterwards, just a little, you know, almost like a pea size, cause this stuff is strong. So a, a, a little goes a long way with these products. Um, because especially liquid products so I just go in with a dab of cotton so that to irritate that area and just lightly rub that area so that it's soothing and it also prevents any types of itching and stuff like that and it also starts the light in under there because I know a lot of people they complain about the underarm being dark so I like to utilize stuff like this and also for my neck and I do go in with it with my face but not so much because it does have the AHAs in it that you have to really be careful what you use with it so definitely been enjoying this by Oleg Henriksen. What is that? Yeah, Oleg Henriksen. And then I also have face creams that I want to go ahead and mention. I have both uh, day and night creams. So the first cream that I want to go ahead and mention is the Zermaderm, which again I did get along with the eye serum and I did send these out in giveaways I sent two out in giveaways and I so far have been hearing really really good uh, reviews and I'll leave the video where I unbox these and show these in the description box below or you can just look up Zilla cosmetic review and it'll pull right up but I'll make sure I just leave it in the description box for you so I am running low on this one which I have been using ritualistically as you guys can see it's just a little bit left but as you guys know a little goes a long way with this product and it is an anti-aging cream and I do have one bag up left of this and this is the only thing that I have left because that's the last eye serum of that that I have left and I absolutely love these and I like to use these in the daytime and at night you know because they don't you know have a preference as when you can use it so I'm just definitely glad that I still have a lot more of this to use so I can see myself taking this through October November December and probably um, open this up maybe in 2021 so definitely excited about those two products right there. The next product that I want to mention are by In Intercell. Intercell sent me out a slew of their products to review for you guys. And I wanted to go ahead and mention their Hyaluronic Hydrating and their Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Night Gel. So this is the hydrating cream. It's almost like a moisturizer. And this one says that it is eight skin past present and future provides vital hyaluronic acid to help skin gain and retain more moisture glycogen provides protective benefits as well so this is also cruelty free and it is made in the usa again this one is by intercell and this was a paid product review that i did receive that for and this one is a night gel and this night gel is amazing guys and it do, both products do come with a protective barrier on the front of it so it's to protect the product and then I also have with that collection I have the night ultra rich night the ultra the ultra rich ultra light day moisturizer with vitamin C and I also have the collagen night cream with professional strength as well so those are very nice ultra moisturizing products that you can use in combination with other products or with the entire line which I do have and I will be mentioning so I've mentioned the toners and I mentioned the creams I'm gonna go ahead and mention trust beauty as well so trust beauty did send me out their promise moisturizer which is for the daytime and they did send me out their nighttime excuse me missing a cap but the cap came up missing honey and I haven't been able to find it so um, yeah so the cap looks just like uh, so been loving these and these are almost gone so I can see me end up mentioning these in the empties in the future but I did really like this it says vitality and radiance all year round gentle enough face cream nourishes and hydrate replenishes protecting skin for revitalization and this one is the facial moisturizer and it does have hyaluronic acid and peptides which make it amazing and this one is the night cream with vitamin A and Pantac ginseng nourishes soothes and generates and this is the night cream so definitely love this at night my skin feels amazing at night once I'm done using that and I think it is amazing so those are my moisturizers now I want to go ahead and mention my serums so I thought I know I'm missing a serum 
I know I'm missing the serum, but I may end up mentioning it in the next video. So the next product is the Revival Labs Professional Hyaluronic Acid Serum, which retains moisture and it is for hydration. And then the next one that I have is the High Potency Collagen Serum, which boosts moisture. And again, this one is hydrating as well. So I have both of these right here. And on this one, it says, helps to raise moisture levels to fill in furrows, plump tissue, and tones down lines. That was the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And then the other one says high percentage of soluble collagen pumps, soothing skin and complexion. Hyaluronic Acid helps to increase skin moisture, reduces appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So I'm almost 40 years old and I'm trying to get on the bandwagon of being proactive before I start creasing and all that other activity that go comes along with age. So I am definitely all for products like these that help to moisturize products and reduce and prevent and delay <laughs> fine lines and wrinkles. So by any means necessary, I am willing to, you know, give a product a try in that arena. The next product are products that I kind of go in and seal with when I'm done with my skincare, basically. And I've done my serums and my moisturizers. So I like to really go in. This is like my go-to for like all, all, everything. Facial serum. This is tea tree with vitamin E. It's an antioxidant rich uh, skin repair that helps reduce fine lines. This is like my favorite product. And a little goes a long way, just maybe a dab. And I am literally down to here with this product. Let me not tilt it. So I'm literally down to here with this product. And once it's done, I did not see it available from Skin Science. Probably have to look up another tea tree and vitamin, another tea tree oil and vitamin E oil that I can find that has antioxidants in it that I can utilize once this is all gone. Cause I do see me finishing this by the end of 2020. So enjoying that nonetheless. Then I have Measurable Difference Rose Hip Oil because I know I am running low on that. I do have the Measurable Difference Rose Hip Oil for hydration. And so far I've tried this out and the one thing I can say about it is that the rose fragrance is so strong and it is because it has the actual rose is inside of it and I really really like these types of oils I showed you guys other body oils and I actually got one other one to mention that actually comes with the um, roses and flowers inside I think it is so aesthetically pleasing when it sits on your vanity and after you've used it or whatever and it has like the roses and stuff flo uh, floating inside so I did pick this up at TJ Maxx for about $5.99 and the original price being about $9 so definitely love saving a quick buck on oils especially when and they're awesome. Then I had this Duvall's Organic Oil Moisturizer, which you can use for hair, skin, and nails. And I have definitely been appreciating this one, especially since it does come with a pump. It is really, really light oil that is really, really light on the skin. With using that, a little does go a long way. And I'm so excited that I did have the opportunity to test that product out. As you can see, it does give the skin a nice shine and it is very absorbent. So this one is 100% organic and it has kennel oil inside. And I did receive this all the way from the UK. So definitely enjoyed the Duvall's Organic Moisturizing Arrogan Oil for the skin. The last three products that I wanna talk about again are basically body oils that I have been ultimately loving and enjoying. This is not a end all be all list of the oils that I will probably mention in this series. So this one is the body hemp oil. And this one says that it is a body hemp oil by, well, it is a body hemp oil by body hemp. I'm sorry, by Spa Grove. It is a body hemp oil by Spa Grove. And the ingredients basically are seed oil. It has very, very good products such as jojoba oil, avocado oil, rose oil, and it does have a little perfume inside of it, which I wasn't a fan of, but I knew I was only gonna be using this on my body and stuff like that, so I found it to be okay. At times it was a bit strong, so I did go in with some of the vitamin E that you guys saw me mention in a empties video so some of the vitamin e oils i just this oil whenever i did use it on my body i just took a little bit put a few drops within the vitamin e oil and use it on my skin so as to dilute this to downplay the fragrance in it because it is very 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 strong the scent that comes with this i really don't see myself repurchasing this but i really did find it really good and soothing for the skin i think the perfume is kind of what did it for me but nonetheless i'm going to use it up 
Then I have the Honeysuckle Jasmine, which <laughs> I have just about used everything in here. And I love, again, the fact that it does come with the little flowers inside. And that is the Aqua and Coconut Oil. It's good for the hair, the nails, and the body. But I only use this oil for my body. I love the way it feels on my skin. And the fragrance on this one is very soft. It's almost like a baby soft, fresh uh, scent. I didn't really have a problem with this one, although the uh, fragrance is really, really strong in this one. It was, you know, fairly a uh, decent smell. It wasn't too overbearing for me. So very, very, very much so enjoyed the Honeysuckle Jasmine. Again, this one is by Province Beauty. I did pick this up at TJ Maxx as well. So eventually you'll see this in a empties because the way this one is built, I won't be able to reuse it because it does have that product stopper at the top. So normally I try to keep bottles like these and upcycle them. But and reuse them for other oils, but in this case, because it has that stopper at the top, I won't be able to do that, but it's okay. So I see the, a lot of these all the time at TJ Maxx, so I'll probably be able to pick up another one in the future. The last but not least product that I would like to mention, and you guys already know, I over love Dr. Till's bath and body oils and products, period. I love their products, period, especially their it's what is their um, Epton salts they have very different types of um, various Epton salts and they also have these what are their tea tea treat tea tea um, tea bags that are there for like the um, soap spas and stuff like well soaking and I really want to try those soaking tea bags out and I probably will do it in the future but for now, I want to go ahead and tell you guys about the Dr. Teal's moisturizing bath oil which is rich uh, ultra rich shea butter essential oil and it has sweet almond oil coconut butter and jojoba oil and it is softening to the skin deeply nourishing and i really really just enjoy this product one of the things that i do like about dr till's products is that they are what they say they are if they say they're moisturizing they're going to be moisturizing if they say they're exfoliating they're going to exfoliate if they say they're nourishing they're going to be nourishing and the smell on this is just so subtle it smells so just simple. I think it's the sweet almond oil and the coconut butter and the jojoba oil that pulls all the way through and they're the main ingredients of this product. So if you guys have the opportunity to check this out, this one is very light and it's rich in moisture. You can add this to your shower or you can wait till you get out and add it to your body. Usually if you're going with this in the shower, you probably want to go ahead and clean your shower out because you may slip, honey, because this oil is very slippery. So I like to use this out of the shower. I don't like to use this while in the shower because of the slipping and all of that. So I just really, really enjoy this product though. And I just really love it, especially mixing it with Epsom salt and using it as a body scrub. It's also good for that. So in all actuality, all of those oils are really, really good. And I just love the fact that they are hydrating and moisturizing for my skin. And I just enjoy trying these products and presenting them to you. If you guys are new to my channel, again, I'll make sure I leave the previous videos talking about these products in the description box below so you can go ahead and enjoy those videos. If you guys have dried any of these products out, do let us know about it in the discussion area. We want to know if you liked it or if you didn't like it. We want to know if you're going to try some of these products in the future. We want to know which ones you potentially may see yourself you know, trying out. And if you have already tried it, we want to know why you don't like them. And if you have products that you would like me to test out that fell in any of the categories that were mentioned here before you, be sure to leave it and I'll try to mention you in the upcoming video should I choose to purchase those products in the future. I thank you guys so much for watching this channel and coming to chill out with me for this series. Be sure to look out for part two and three of this series within a series <laughs> up on my channel for Vlogtober. So I hope you guys are so far enjoying the month and I hope to see you guys in the very next video. Bye.